Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Pi Records. What I want to talk today in our review on Tuesdays is the Mag 7. Uh, Noah from Otitis Media uh, Records put this out. It's a reissue of their Cognito Sessions from way back. Um, I was first introduced to the, uh, the Mag 7 through their second album, Knife to a Gunfight, where they do... Uh, a version of Sleepwalk, a surf punk version of Sleepwalk, which everybody knows, who knows me, that was Jenny and I's wedding song. So it holds a deep place in my heart. And um, they, they really do an incredible job with it, a different take on it. Um, but with this new album, they went in kind of like a different direction. Uh, they, they dropped the punk side of, of things. And... Uh, Went more in a surf jazz progressive kind of even a little bit uh um smooth jazz or or progressive jazz. And um what I what one of the things I love is is uh Donnie Blair um from uh, the Toadies, uh Hagfish, uh Tulsa Doom, he's even in Only Crime. And uh I've been a fan of his and his brothers uh Hagfish especially for many, 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 many years. And uh, it's my honor to review this today. Um, also because um, Bill Stevenson from The Descendants, All, Only Crime, Lemonheads, The Last, um, has, has done a wonderful job of t pulling back on, on his aggressive playing and... Um, and just done a wonderful job. Like uh, people who know Bill know he's really into jazz, but rarely gets to apply a real true jazz uh, style. But he does here, and uh, he knocks it out of the park. Usually his drumming is really distinct, um, but it's really off the charts here. Uh, Donnie's bass playing has always Im impressed me. He has a very melodic way of playing bass. And uh, the guitars are super crystal clear. Uh, there, there's there's some reverb involved, of course, um, but the jazz chords really ring out with me. It's one of the things I enjoy um, about music is um, jazz, like traditional jazz music. Um, because when I was young, I was in a I was in the jazz band. You know, I was one of those those dorks. But in that jazz band. There were some like super talented people, and I can't read music, so I was just playing, playing along, and uh, just grateful to be there. But that's why this album is important to me because it brings back my youth, brings me back to a time where I discovered the band, and uh, I'm really happy to uh, to have it in my hands finally. And um, as you can see, the beautiful artwork, and uh, they're they're not the magnificent seven, and and. Uh, the cotton needle sessions i definitely suggest picking it up i'm gonna put a link to where you can pick it up the vinyl and uh, that's otitis media records uh website and i'm gonna put a link to the facebook page in the description both links so uh pick it up support the band sample it if you can uh i know you can get it on itunes and all the streaming platforms just check it out because you won't be you won't be disappointed. If you're a fan of guitar, if you're a fan of surf music, this is going to be right up your alley.